What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate reverse ranch, no hate. So, I want to talk about two particular fighters. Instead of making this two separate videos, I'm going to do this real short, real sweet, to the point. One is heavyweight, you know, contender Jared Anderson. And the other is 135-pound contender, you know, Keyshawn Davis. I like both of these guys as fighters. You know, Jared Anderson, he's a durable guy so far. You know, he's a rugged type of guy. He's a better, better word. He's more like a, he's a rugged type of guy. I haven't really seen him take any punishment yet, so I can't really say how durable he is. He's a, he's a, he's a, he has that, that rugged type style. Like he wants to go in and, and, and you know, get his shots in and, and, and bring that pain to you. You know, he has good power, and he's shown heart so far. You know, and he he, he has found ways to you know he pretty much knock these guys out, and he finds ways to break them down. Now he hasn't been fighting the best competition, but he's now saying he's the best heavyweight in the world. And that's all good that you feel that way, but you have to step your game up. So now, to make those claims. You have to start fighting the type of competition that the best heavyweights in the world would fight. Otherwise, you know, the fights that you've had so far, for where he is in his career, I can say it's okay. That's fine. So now, again, for you to say you're the best heavyweight in the world, well, now it's time to step up. You know, beating the type of guy that he's beaten so far, they're not world-class type fighters. So, you know, this guy that he just beat, you know, this weekend and been on the small side and had nothing for him. And these are the type of, you know, competitors that he's been in there with so far. So these guys don't qualify him as being one of the best at all. Not that type of competition. So now it's time to step up. So now as you're making these claims, people are watching you step up in competition and if you're beating these guys the same way then it's like okay cool they'll start to take notice but to start saying I'm the best heavyweight in the world you know last year they were just saying he got time there's no rush whoever they put in front of him that's where they fight but he's saying he wanted the big fights and so you know when you look at who's there what's going on you want to get in the mix now man you don't want to wait till these guys are old and washed up and then you know you're beating guys that's past their prime what does it do for you you know so yeah I'd like to see Jared Anderson step his game up and especially if you're going to be calling out you know making claims that you're the best heavyweight in the world live up to it okay Keyshawn Davis he's a, a very good fighter solid fighter shows poise shows patience and you know he has a good gas tank and he's going in there, he's banging, he's, he's just beating guys down. But he's in the same situation as Jared Anderson, where, you know, he's, you know, pretty much saying he's better than Tank, he's better than Haney, he'll beat all these guys, he'll beat Frank Martin, okay, so then the same thing for him, he needs to step his game up, you know. Now, in terms of you just jumping in with these guys without earning your spot, no, you have to earn your keep. You don't just call somebody's name and just because, oh, yeah, he can fight, they're going to boost you. You know, it's, it's a system. It's a monopoly, you know. But it's one thing when it's hard for you to get fights because guys don't want to fight you. But, you know, you, you're picking guys that allow you to show showcase, you know, your talents, and that's great. But, again, once you start calling out the top guys, once you start saying, I'm the best, I'm this, I'm that, well, people need to see you step up and show it. Otherwise, you're just another guy that's going to be talking. And every time you say I'm the best, you're fighting somebody that's not even one of the best. So it doesn't add up. And you'll be overlooked. And Keyshawn Davis is a real solid fighter. He is a solid fighter. So you have to show that you belong there, though. That's just the way it goes. That's just how... As that's pretty much in almost anything in life. You have to show that you belong. And it will be a great journey 
to watch and see these guys develop and see that they're in here fighting the very top guys, you know, and, and, and holding their own and winning. Not just saying that I can, but not fighting them. So I like Jared Anderson as a fighter. I like Keyshawn uh, Davis as a fighter. So we'll see the way things go as time goes on, but they both, in my opinion, need to step their game up. And then this will solidify how good they are. That they can that that those claims that they are who they say they are. And then once you get in there, well, once the best meet the best, somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. Possible draw, right? But at the end of the day, that's how it's done. So I'm not gonna bash them because of what they're saying. But from this point on, because Jared Anderson, you know, he was real confident what he was saying. Keyshawn, same thing. So let's see what they're really made of. Talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings head out of people, and I will catch y'all in the next video.